In the next two minutes, you're going to learn how to create a realistic neon glow in Illustrator. First, create a new document with the RGB color mode, and then use the rectangle tool to create a background. Make sure the background is either black or a very dark color, and then lock said background so it doesn't move accidentally. Now let's select the type tool, click anywhere and type some text. Increase the text size, and then pick a font. I'm gonna use Nick Ainley Normal, which is linked below, and then pop this in the center. Next, let's change the color of this text to white, and then go to effect, down to blur, and select Gaussian Blur. Enter a relatively small value, so something like 0.5 should be just fine. And then let's go to Edit, select Copy, Edit, and Paste in Place. Next, select the Gaussian Blur effect from the Appearance panel and increase the value. We'll go for 3. Then copy and paste in place and increase the value again. And I think something like 10 here should be fine. And again, copy, paste, increase the blur value. Copy paste again and increase the blur value. So this looks pretty good, but we do have some weird clipping around the edge. So let's fix that by going to effect and changing the raster effect settings. Let's bump up the resolution to 300 DPI. And then we need to increase the number of pixels around the object to the maximum, which is 720. So let's click OK. And you can see it's broken everything. But don't worry, let's select all of our yo's and just reduce the size. Give it a second to load. And then it remembers to fucking work. Hooray! Now, once you're happy with your design, if you need to make it bigger, I'd recommend selecting everything and expanding the appearance. And because we took care of the clipping issue, you can now scale it up to any size. And to change the color, let's create a rectangle that covers absolutely everything. And then from the swatches panel, select the default black to white gradient. And then from the gradient panel, you can add and customize multiple colors along the gradient slider. There we go, I think a pink and a purple will do just fine. Keep tinkering until you're happy, and then go to opacity, and from the drop down, set the blending mode to overlay. And now the yo is back with some color applied. And now you can see the text in your gradient together. It's much easier to fine tune the colors. So there we go, that's our neon text. But you might be thinking, Dan, how do I change the words without developing copy paste syndrome? Well, at this point, I have to be honest, I totally forgot to mention this. So yeah, what we should have done, but didn't because of me, is go to window and then scroll down until you find the symbols panel. Drag your text into the symbols panel, give it a name, text. And that's literally it. And the reason this step's important and why I'm a total plonker for not mentioning it is because once you've copy pasted everything, you can double click a symbol to go inside, change your text size, your font, anything you like. And then once you come back out of that symbol, your changes are applied to every instance. And there we go. There's your neon glow in Adobe Illustrator. So yeah, just uh, glow crazy and have fun. <laughs> glow crazy. Oh, so bad.